Hi, it's Andrea Stor and you are watching The Floristic Journey, the place where business is an art and creativity is a way of living. Flowers are ephemeral, life itself is ephemeral. I think that the most important lesson that flowers teach us is the way to live. To live in the present moment, to have a lot of passion in what we do, in the way we love, in the way we work, in the way we interact with each other. Stain Simes learned this lesson, to live like a flower. He had so much energy in everything that he did. He was singing and dancing almost all the time and he was working like there is not going to be a tomorrow. I remember the demos that I had with him at the beginning. We were establishing a certain number of floral designs per person. And at the end, he had a double number of designs to present. He was always going for the extra mile. He managed to surprise everyone with his creativity, with the variety of materials and with the speed of his work. I have never heard him complaining about anything. But there is something that not many florists know about him and is that he was a really passionate storyteller. He could have written a book for sure. I remember one of the stories that he told me. It was a weekend and I was sleeping so deep when I heard all this music and noise from the neighbors behind my yard. It was an African family which was very kind and we were always wishing a good day to each other but we were not so close. So I stepped out in the yard and I was smelling the good from their barbecue. There were a lot of people and everybody was so happy and they were listening to African music. My first instinct was to dance and then I saw kids playing near the fence between our yards. I asked him what were they celebrating and the kid looked at me and said grandma died. I was so shocked and I couldn't understand because in our culture we don't celebrate someone's death. Everybody is sad and crying. In the meantime kid's mom came and explained to me in our tradition when one of us is dying we gather all the family from all over the country and we spend all night together. In the morning we say our goodbyes, everybody's crying, but after this we celebrate what that person meant to us. We celebrate the life of the one who he once was. We celebrate how the one who died wanted us to remember him. We celebrate life. I know that this is how Stain would have also wanted us to remember him and to celebrate life. He still remains our friend, colleague and guest teacher of our school, still learning from him how to live a more passionate, vibrant and enthusiastic life. To laugh open and love much to win the respect of intelligent persons and the affection of children, to earn the approbation of honest critics, to appreciate beauty, to find the best in others, to give of oneself, to leave the world a little better, to have played and laughed with enthusiasm and sung with exhalation. This is to have succeeded. These words by Ralph Waldo Emerson describe the best, my dear friend and colleague, Stain Simes.